Martin, we'll start with the uh, team news tonight if we can. A little bit of freshness to it. Arthur in, Christy in, Westwood in. Freshness and an opportunity for those players. I think there's always an opportunity for the players at international level. Uh, Harry Arthur had uh, an injury or he was very, very close to being in the squad uh, for the Euros. So it's an opportunity for him. And I think every single minute is important for these players. You know, there is competition for places, which is important. And I think... Um, uh, after the Euros, some players have done exceptionally well and, uh, and others definitely want to go and try and take those positions if there's, a, a, if there's a chance to do so. So yes, tonight is exactly about that. The other big opportunity maybe tonight is for the centre-back pairing. Mark Wilson obviously has a, a new opportunity for his club and maybe a big opportunity as well now for his country. Well, Mark, again, uh, a couple of years ago he was first choice for us. He's had a lot of injuries, he's had a few setbacks. Uh, he's now had a new club. He's gone from uh, Stoke City now down to Bournemouth, and while he is, uh, you know, he's still searching for real proper fitness, uh, at least a half here tonight should uh, should help him along as well, uh, along the way. So he hasn't uh, he hasn't figured for Bournemouth in the in the league itself. Played a, a, a league um, a league cup game. But again, just exactly that. If he can regain the form that he showed a couple of seasons ago for us, that would be great news and naturally be good news at club level as well too. So, uh, yeah, a chance for him again. Not a huge amount of room for manoeuvre between now, obviously, and the Serbia game. Is this where you really earn your core now over the next uh, five or six days? Well, I think that uh, what was important here tonight, yeah, is that some players just haven't played enough football. We had a game uh, two years ago against Oman as it turned out, it was the best thing we could possibly have had because it gave uh, an opportunity for a few players to play some football that they didn't really have at club level in the first couple of weeks of the season. I'm trying to balance that there also with an eye on, on the, uh, obviously on the game against Serbia on the Monday. So, um, because if, we have, if we're going to have to use a squad at such short notice in that sense, then you want them to have some football, um, to have played some football before the Serbia game. That might not be possible with every single player, but Serbia is obviously the most important aspect of this. Just finally, speaking of balance, it's obviously all about Robbie tonight. How tough has it been for you to get the balance between respecting that process and obviously conscious of a brand new campaign just around the corner? Well, I think that uh, Robbie definitely deserved a, a, a deserved a send off. That's true. But you're also right as well too in terms of that balance. You know, we have to. Uh, Robbie has been uh, been fantastic for for Ireland, been fantastic for his clubs as well too. So as I say, he deserves the send off that he's getting. But I have to balance that also from the fact that I have uh, an important game. The Republic of Ireland have an important game against Serbia and knowing that he's not going to be part of that, so he would need to do as much as he can do in the next, um, in the next 20 minutes, I suppose. Thank you. Thank you. Interesting final answer.